What's going on guys? My name is Taylor or Captain Obvious and today I'm coming at you guys with a little something different than my normal um, gameplay live freaking I don't even know what I've been doing lately but uh, the reason I was gone for a week is my girlfriend was in town and just decided I didn't really have time to do a commentary and uh, so I decided not to because you know I'm going back to when this was fun and so I'm gonna have fun with it like I said. Uh, but today I want to talk to you guys about a little something serious, um, not really, actually, it's not serious at all, it's just something really interesting, talk to you guys about my new favorite inventor, I don't, know, I don't know why I said inventor there, it's just inventor, my new favorite inventor, Nikola Tesla, but before I get into that, um, let me talk a little bit about what I did the past week, so my girlfriend was here, and she was here for six days, and basically on Thursday we went to the Exploratorium. And uh, this was a lot of fun. If you guys don't know, the Exploratorium is in San Francisco, the one that I'm talking about. There's probably a lot of other ones around the world, but this one's in San Francisco. Um, it's a pretty famous one. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, there's these two chairs that you sit in, like, 150 feet away from each other, and you just talk normally, and you can hear perfectly the other person. It's really cool. The dome is, like, rounded behind you in such a way that it reflects the noise. I don't even really know, but it's awesome. Um, there's a lot of other cool things in there, but one thing that I really enjoyed was the Tesla coil. Um, and this prompted me to look into Tesla a little bit more. And, uh, so you... Oh, Jesus, I'm getting a call. That is my ringtone, boys and girls. It's absolutely wonderful. But, uh, hold on, I'm gonna have to pause this commentary real quick. Anyways, um, where was I? Oh yes, Tesla. So basically, um, I looked up a little bit more about him, and he was born in like 56, 1856, by the way, not 1956. So, well, well before uh, we were all even, probably before our great-great-grandparents. I, I don't really know when your great-great-grandparents were born, but probably before mine. But anyways, uh, essentially... He was an inventor, and apparently he died in 43, by the way, so he lived to be 87? Is that 87? That would be, uh, 9, yeah, 87. Wow, he lived to be 87 years old, back when people were only living to be, like, 60. That's pretty amazing, um, when you think about it. And another interesting fact, not sure if it's true, read it somewhere, don't remember where. Probably not a reputable source, but, by the way... Jesus, this college life is getting into my personal life. I would never talk about sources if I wasn't writing so many damn research papers. But um, essentially, he, uh, he he was celibate his whole life, which means he never had sex. He never got that poo tang, if you know what I mean. But uh, which is definitely not what people of this age are all about. But anyways, he was an amazing guy. And really, the more I like learn about him, the less I like one of his. Um, you can't even really say peers. I mean, I guess you could say peers. Einstein. Now, Einstein is really thought of as the guy who kind of invented, you know, the modern world. Uh, besides, wait, did I say Einstein? No, I meant Edison. I totally meant Edison. Jesus, I'm terrible um, at this. But <laughs> Edison, Edison, Thomas Edison, not Albert Einstein. Thomas Edison. So let's get that straight. Not Einstein, Edison. All right, I'll fucking shut up now. But, uh... So Edison is a guy that was kind of thought of as the guy that kind of came up with like the modern world as modern electricity and you know, all that's all that good old jazz. You learn about him in elementary school, middle school, all about his ideas and stuff like that. And you know, for good reason. He was an amazing guy. He uh, he knew a lot about what he studied, and he was a genius in his field. Um, but I like Tesla more, and here's why. One of the things that Tesla invented was the alternate, alternating current, um, and this is different from the direct current, which is uh, runs through your walls um, and stuff like that. And uh, it was different. So Edison invented the direct current. Uh, Tesla invented the alternating current. And one of the ways that Edison decided to uh, suppress t uh, Tesla's ideas was to hook up a bunch of cats to AC and not not air conditioning, alternating current, and electrocute them on public display so that people would think that it was unsafe. One of the ways Tesla responded with this, in badass fashion, I might add, was he hooked himself up to his AC current and passed current right through his body. Nothing happened to him. Such a badass. That is, like, honestly one of the coolest things to do. Um, I would never do it because I'd probably fuck it up and die. But <laughs> who's counting? I mean, who really cares, you know, if I... I mean, no, nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. But, um... He was really cool about that. He also invented so many other things that hadn't been invented in during his time. I just hit my mic. I'm so sorry about that. He invented the radio waves, which uh, radios weren't invented for a much later date. Um, and I think it was invented by some dude named Macaroni or something like that. I don't even know. Or 
credited to some dude named something like Macaroni. It was Macaroni, Macatoni, Magadajoni, uh, the Big Nut Sack. I don't really know. Something like that. But uh, he was accredited for it. But he actually invented it by stealing nine of Tesla's patents. And once again, I'm not reading anything off of online. So it totally might not have been radio waves. But it was definitely something involving some, torp some type of wave. Um, and not the ocean waves, add you, mind you. But, I mean, he was a really amazing guy. He invented all these amazing things. X-rays before they were invented. Might have even been an X-rays that Magaroni, Tony, Big Ball dude invented. But I can't remember. But Tesla invented it first. He also invented a bunch of other things first. And it's just, he didn't get credited for anything that he really did. And now, only now is it really coming to light about all of his invent inventions and patents. And the thing is that he filed patents for these things and he just still didn't get them. One thing that is my absolute favorite was this thing called the Wardenclyffe Tower. Now, I'll link it down in the description, hopefully, but uh, you can just search up Tesla's energy tower on Google. You'll find it. It was a tower that was essentially going to give free energy to the world. And the way it worked is he used the Earth's magnetic field to channel electricity around the world. So anyone with any kind of uh, electricity receiver would have just been able to tap into it and gotten power wirelessly from this tower and now originally this guy invented invested uh 150 which is around like five million today's dollars and he planned on completing it but after the guy realized that he wasn't going to be able to make a profit off of it um he stopped investing and pulled out his funds and, and tesla was never able to complete it and so unfortunately this amazing tower that you know was going to provide free energy to the world and it was actually the basis for wireless technology like cell phone service emails texting web searching all of this amazing stuff that we have today could have been invented over almost a hundred years earlier and imagine where we would be today if we had had all this information a hundred years ago imagine where we'd be today he was basically inventing the web 96 years before it was invented that's unbelievable, you guys. If that's not unbelievable, I don't know what's unbelievable. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it right here. Um, I'll try to come out with another commentary sometime within a few days. Um, you know what I'm also thinking about doing? Bioshock 2 Let's Play. You heard it here, folks. Bioshock 2 Let's Play. I just played the original Bioshock. It was absolutely amazing. Loved it. I'm thinking about doing a Bioshock 2 Let's Play because I just had so much fun with it. Anyways, let me know if you guys would like to see that. My name is Vin Taylor. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did for Tesla because he's a freaking boss. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks all for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.